Hello everybody. Simone Bozzelli sent me a link to this picture and asked if I could show how to model this iPhone case. Uh, here you see this is the opening for the camera and uh, the flashlight. Here is the opening for the power on and off switch. Here is the opening for uh, the mute and the volume um, knobs and here is the opening for the big cable which you can plug into an iPhone. So I will not do this to scale except uh, the case itself but I will try to do it as I remember it. Okay, let's go to Modo and I am in top view and start with a square. By the way, this is another very typical use of my 2D to 3D technique. I make a square like this and I got this question uh, quite a few times. How can I make a shape to a precise size after I have dropped the tool. Anyway, if you want to do this, you go to Snaps and Precision, then go to Absolute Scaling, and here you can put in the real dimensions, which is 110 by about 60, and then press Explicit Scale, and if we now get uh, the dimensions tool, you see it is 110 by 60, which is more or less the dimension of an iPhone. So this was just uh, a side. Let's start. I select all these vertices. B for bevel. Bevel this in to about 8 millimeters. Then go to polygon mode, press the B key and bevel it in by minus, uh, sorry, 1.5 millimeters. Shift click and go in another 0.5 millimeters and delete this. Now I start with this opening for the camera and the flashlight and as you see with a, rend uh, with a level of 2 bevel we have four sides so we need a circle with uh, 16 sides and bring it out from about here and I make it 6 by 6 millimeters W bring it a bit down I could merge these vertices here but then I would get these funny shaped uh, quads like this one. So I will bridge this. Okay, but first I bevel this and delete. Then I go to here, up arrow key, control X, control V to separate it, W key and move this down to about here. Yes. Now I can quickly hide this and then go to edge mode, select these two edges, bridge, select these two and bridge also. U for unhide. Now we need to make some cuts in here. So shift C, make a straight cut through here and another one middle mouse button through here, then shift click, cut through here, middle mouse button through here and through here and deselect everything. Now I can select these edges here. So select this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, then these one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and bridge. So far, so good, but we have a slight problem here. We are not on the same height, so I select everything, vertex, set position, zero on Y, and this should fix this. Yes. Good. Next, I select these edges here, and Z key, and move them down. Then I put in another single edge in here, and select these edges, R key, W key, move them to about here, and automatic join the vertices, and one has merged. Now let's fill this in. So vertex mode, select these vertices, and P key, now we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, we need another edge in here, shift C, about the same distance as the other one, like so, then we can select these two, bridge them, select these, deselect these two, and bridge, and this is good. Now, I select these edges here and shift sorry Z key and bring them to about here shift C make a straight cut through here select this R key again and two vertices have merged now we can bring this to about the same distance as we had before, W to here. Next, we need Alt-C, count of two. We need to prepare for the, the big opening at the back for the cable. So B for bevel with the round level of 1 or with the uh, square shape, so like so. Good. Now we can fill in this end, so 1, 2, 3, 4, P key, 1, 2, 3, 4, P key again, and now we have one, two, we can use these two, and bridge, and down here, let's see, uh, one, two, three, four, P key, one, two, three, four, P key, and once more, one, two, three, four, and the P key. Now we have two, four edges in here and only three here, so we need another, an additional one. So edge mode, Alt C, count of one. Now we can bring this one up to here, W, move it up. Select these two, R key, make it smaller a bit, W, bring it down to about here. Now we can fill in this. So, uh, bridge. That's good. That's the bottom. And as I said, this is a typical case for a 2D to 3D approach. So let's go to 3D. First I select everything, shift X and move it up by 1.5 millimeters, the same as I had on the outside here. Then we can select these two polygons, L key, down arrow key, three times, yes, 
then shift x again and lift this up by 10 millimeters now we can add in some edges here alt c count of two and symmetry like so and we need another edge in here alt c about like this and maybe a single one down here and if you're really determined i will not do it because it's not necessary in many cases but uh, avoiding spiders another of my tutorial would show you how to get rid of this five-legged spiders here but anyway it's not necessary it looks good like this okay next we need to do the opening for the power on off switch for that i add a single edge in here so one in here and another one in here and then we can take these polygons and this one here p for bevel on the red handle bevel them in run seneca menars perfect circle the link is in the description r key again on the red circle and bring this down this is quite smaller than the rest w key and b for bevel again bevel it in and bridge then we can select these l key delete do the same here l key delete and now i can select two polygons in here shift up arrow control x control v w key bring it over to about here and do the same here w key to about here then we can go to edge mode select these edges and bridge and select these edges and bridge as well now we have here we have 10 edges here we have eight which means we need two more which can very easily be done by beveling these edges with the round level of zero to about here and what I'm also doing is I take these two um, vertices and these two W key and move them down closer to here. Okay, now we have, can just um, bridge these. So bridge, click in the viewport, do the same on the other side and bridge and put two edges in here and two to here alt c count of two symmetry like so good now when you think this is too oval no problem we can select these edges alt c count of two and now it should nicely keep the shape okay let's do the next one i put in two edges in here so a single one here and a single one here select these and the inner ones it's exactly the same as i did here and bevel again bevel it in and round Seneca Menars perfect circle make it as big as we can R key like about so then B for bevel again on the red handle bevel it in a bit and bridge and again we delete this L key delete and the same here L key D 
delete and then these two polygons shift up arrow control x control v w key and move this over to here and w key move this over to here and then i hide this quickly go to edge mode and bridge these and bridge these u for unhide now we need to get our edges in this is one w key i could really also just bevel them with a round level of zero to about here move them over a bit w like so now we can connect these bridge and bridge these bridge and let's see in the top view this is not these here perspective this is too small so we have to move everything over a bit like so and also put two edges in here to make sure we keep the shape and two edges into here like so and we are done and here is our iPhone case quite happy with the mesh except I put an edge through here so this one doesn't run away so far like so good now we can give this a material this is the case and then I go to the basic shift click on this here this has created a plane so we give this a material also call it plane then go over to the render tab uh, a key something like this let me check something yes now we are in softy mode okay back to the render and i want to first uh we've i forgot something you know there is a little lip on top of this case which makes sure that the iphone is not falling out so select this b for bevel and on the blue handle pull it out a bit and now we are finished okay render so that looks more like it <clears throat> let's see the plane and the plane material i give this tile here then go to plastic satin finished blue satin for the case make this a bit bigger 888 control enter and then go up with the render level to 4 and press F9 now let's make some reflections maybe a bit smaller now f9 and render it so 
so that's it an iPhone cover I hope Simone found this helpful and I hope some of you also found this helpful and liked it thanks for watching take care and have fun modeling with Modo see you some other time bye bye